Alright, so hopefully the last section here, 5.3, we're going to try solving some uh, last roots here. Okay, so to solve this, I would need to add 2 to both sides, right? Because we want to get the numbers on one side, so I get 5x squared equals 9. 5 times x, which means I need to divide by 5 on both sides. So I end up getting x squared equals 9 over 5 which means because it's x squared I square root both sides so I end up getting the square root of 9 over 5 which I can simplify to the square root of 9 over the square root of 5 which gives me 3 over root 5. Now here's the problem you can't have a root in the denominator so I need to get rid of that and very simply put if you have a root on the bottom all you need to do to get rid of it is multiply that same root on both the top and the bottom why? Well, because we just went over it. What happens when you have a root that's the same? Right? They cancel out and just give you whatever number was underneath, which is a 5. I have a 3 on top, and now I have a root 5 as well. So your official answer is 3 root 5 over 5, but because I'm solving for x, it's plus or minus. Remember, whenever you're square rooting something, you get two answers, plus or minus. 3 root 5 over 5. In this problem here, add 2 to both sides to get the numbers on the one side. So I end up getting 7x squared equals 25. It's 7 times x squared, so I divide both sides by 7. And I end up getting x squared equals 25 over 7. So I have to square root everything. And when I do that, I get x equals the square root of 25 over 7, which is the same as saying the square root of 25 over the square root of 7, which gives me 5 over root 7. Well, just like the last problem, I cannot have a square root on the bottom, so to get rid of that square root, I multiply by the square root of 7 on the top and the bottom. So what happens is root 7 times root 7 just gives me a 7 on the bottom, I have a 5 still on top and a root 7 now on top. And remember, whenever you solve, it's plus or minus. Plus or minus when you're solving for x. All right, so um, to solve a problem like this, it doesn't matter if it's fractions or not. You get all the numbers on the one side, so I would subtract 5. Well, 1 6 uh, minus 5 gives you a funky decimal which on your calculator you can go to math frac but either way when you combine them I end up getting negative 1 over 2 x squared equals negative 29 over 6 and the simplest way to say how I got that is it's like saying minus 5 over 1 I found a common denominator so it's like saying 1 over 6 minus 30 over 6 because I found a common denominator right 1 minus 30 is negative 29. But anyway, to get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So I multiply by negative 2 over 1, which cancels all that out. So all you have is x squared equals um, 29 times 2 divided by 6, um, which is just a fraction that actually reduces to 29 um, over 3. Uh, because they'll simplify out. And I don't know why I have a root 3 there yet. 29 over 3, but now when I square root it, I end up getting the square root of 29 over the square root of 3. And we can't have a root on the bottom, so I multiply by a root 3 on both the top and the bottom. So I end up getting a positive 3 on the bottom, and 29 times 3 is 87 so I have a root 87 on top and we'll check to just to double check to see if that 87 um, can simplify uh, to something else which I'm pretty sure it's not going to but just to um, quadruple check here so that would end up being our final answer except with a plus or minus uh, square root 87 over 3 this problem is meant to be more difficult than it is. They're giving you the equation right here. 
and what it's saying is um, the object falls at 275 meters so how many seconds does it take so 275 goes in here 4.9 t squared so to get t by itself I would divide uh, by 4.9 on both sides and 275 divided by 4.9 is roughly 56 point one two equals t squared and the reason why I'm leaving it as a decimal is we're talking about time so since we're talking about time let's leave it as a decimal to make the problem easier since it's a word problem to get rid of t uh, to get t by itself I would square root it so the square root of 56.12 you end up oops, square root of I didn't type it in right you get approximately plus or minus 7.5 we'll just say roughly um, and t is in terms of seconds so roughly 7.5 seconds um, is how long that it would take for the object to fall this problem is identical um, it just says that s is the initial height if an object was dropped from a height of 237 how long would it take to travel to the ground. Well, here's basically what this problem is telling you. It's negative 6 uh, t squared plus 237 because that's the initial height. You want to know where it ends? If it ends on the ground, that means it ends at 0. So to solve this problem, I would add 6 t squared to both sides. So you got to get your t's on one side and your numbers on the other. So you end up getting 6 t squared equals 237. Uh, I would divide both sides by 6 uh, to get t by itself. So we get t squared equals 237 divided by 6, which is 39.5. And then I would square root 39.5. And I end up getting plus or minus 6.28 seconds. That is my answer. So if you have any other further questions or concerns, please feel free to email me or let me know.